Memorial Day weekend is when most community swimming pools open for the season. But as Royce Jones reports, in one local borough, instead of starting the season with a splash, it seems like more of a belly flop. As you can see, there have been more wrecking balls than cannonballs happening here at the Whitehall swimming pool. Now borough leaders are trying to deflate some of the frustration around the neighborhood. The Whitehall Borough Swimming Pool Project has been an undertaking two years in the making. And based on this letter that the borough issued to residents this week, despite having proper permits and inspections, there seems to be a tidal wave of trouble opening it. It's a big job, you know, you got to tear out the old and put in the new. The borough says the project was supposed to wrap April 1st, and then in 2022, after the renovation had already started, the general contractor revealed it would cease operations this year after completing its current contracts. The completion date was then pushed by the contractor to June 1st with the goal of hopefully opening Memorial Day weekend. Well, that is no longer happening, and the problem is people already purchased pre-sale passes. I feel like if you hadn't pre-sold, if you just said, hey, it's delayed, we're not sure when we're going to get a pool pass out to you, but instead you pre-sold with a promise of a date that you're not going to meet. Apparently, borough staffers just started issuing over 800 refunds for pool passes yesterday, which could take a few days to process. Car customers will receive a direct deposit. Cash or check customers will have a check mailed to them. And about the new completion date, the borough says it's been delayed again by the contractor to July 6. In the meantime, this family of three has found a silver lining. He loves construction. I know some people aren't excited about the progress, but he's excited for dump trucks and bulldozers. And by the way, the issues with the contractor are so serious, the borough says it's exploring potential damages and litigation. Nobody from the borough has gotten back to us yet to discuss these pool problems. I'm Royce Jones, KDK TV News.